Hey guys, this is Tone Rider and I'm going to show you how to skin the Bell Moto 10 helmet. Uh, so, for things first, when you open the, the folder I, I uploaded for you, the Bell Moto 10, you have your mods folder, the one you just want to put it in into your uh, game files here. Uh, and then you have your creation folder. In there you have some folders with different skins in it. You have just a PNG for the presentation and two PSDs, one for the shell, for the shell helmet and one for the visor. So let's open that PSD. Here it is. So you can hide this. Let's make a little presentation of the PSD. So you have the maps where you will have the UV map and the normal map and the specular maps. One specular for a plain uh, matte helmet and another one for a carbon look. Sorry, and then you have your reflection map, uh, one for the glossy look and one for the matte look. All right, let's hide this. Then you have your shadings, and then here is the diffuse map. So here is here is some skins that I already made. Uh, as you can see, there is many of those. But here is where you're going to skin your own helmet. So you have your parts. So the misc, this is uh, like the vents and shield. Uh, you have the honeycomb foam here. So you can choose the color for this. Uh, you have the black foam parts. So this is uh, like the inside of the helmet. You have some plastic parts, so this is pretty obvious, you can see it by yourself. And there is the mouth part, mouth part, sorry. And then you have the NMR bumpers, which are the, the, the little weird parts you have uh, on the sides of your neck. So this is the parts, and here is where you're going to make your, your skin for real. So you have uh, some logos I throw on it. So you have some Bell logos. You have Rockstar, Monster, and Red Bull. And then you have your carbon shell copy. It's pretty light, but here it is. And otherwise you have your plain uh, shell. So what we're going to do today is put some logos on it, so let me open it, here it is, so we are going to, alright, we're good, we're going to duplicate it on our PSD, alright, here we are, okay, so First thing first, uh, you are going to need your UV map for that. There is some difficulties with uh, that PSD. Uh, the first thing is that that part of uh, the helmet is not symmetrical. I don't know how we say it in English, but it's not symmetrical here with this part. The right part is a little bit bigger, and it's not, yeah, like it's not the same. So it's going to be a little bit of a challenge to make it right. But where is the fun if there is no challenge, right? So the first thing you want to do in order to place to place your logos, so you're going to right click on it, convert it into a dynamic object. Then you are going to press Ctrl T and then you are going to hold Shift in order to resize it uh, the way you want it to be. Okay, so we're going to 
place it like that as you can see uh, on the UV map it's doing a little bit of a curve right here so we are going to match our logo with that curve by clicking on here alright and then you can adjust it so it will make a little bit of a curve uh, just like your helmet okay Then you're going to press Ctrl G to duplicate it and put it on the other side. As I said before, the right side is a little bit bigger, so we are going to adjust it just a little bit. Okay, so you can see that here the H is just right on that edge that line so this is the third uh, black square here if you say so uh, and we are pretty good uh, we are going actually yeah all right then we are good on this side and then on the other side you have like uh, that line here and here that make a little bit of an edge here and then you have the A of Honda uh, going through that square and a little bit of the, the second of the, the corner so it's actually too big which is weird because So somewhat here is bigger, but here is a little bit smaller. So yeah, that's the change. All right, so here you have your logos. Uh, then uh, I'm doing that helmet for a dude named Blue. And he wants his name at the back of the helmet. So I'm going to upright it. I pressed, oh sorry. Uh, I'm doing that helmet for a dude named Blue and he wants his name on the back of the helmet so we are going to press T and then write Blue alright then you are going to do Ctrl T hold Shift and then resize it as you want it pressure like that should be alright okay we're going to put some design on it, so we are going to uh, convert it as a dynamic object and then pixelize the layer. Double click on the square. We're going to put a nice white on it, then a stroke. Let's put it black stroke. Stroke. <laughs> uh, okay, a black stroke with six. Then you want to pixelize it again. And then let's put another white stroke like three. All right, got it. All right. Then you're gonna press Ctrl T, and here is the fun part. So what I'm going to do is take some. Uh, how do we say? Sorry. Landmark. A landmark. All right, so let's take a landmark <laughs> like that. Here you can see that the square here is just on that line, you know. All right. So, so the the you want it to be just in the middle here. See, it's pretty hard pretty hard to explain it in English sorry I'm doing my best but yeah okay so you want to duplicate it with Ctrl G and then place the other one on the 
this input on this put on the other side but you can see here that the right part is bigger than the left part of the helmet so you want to make your logos a little bit bigger too and then see that it's going all the way to that square here so if you want to make it like the same uh, size of it you want to make it as close as you can you know here the the, the space here between the end of the the, the E and that uh, line is pretty close to here and you want to put it right on the on that line here. Okay. Then you want to erase, erase the part that you don't want. Like that. Okay. And now you have no other choice. You have to try it in game. So what you want to do to try it in game? You want to let's say you want it to be carbon glossy so you just copy past that folder and then rename it what is the name already? FRS rename it FRS on that, alright then you want to go into your uh, Pibuso MX Bikes mods folder, rider helmets and then you have it uh, here but it's a pick as it so you can't open it so you want to create another folder and name it Del Moto Fuck. Then, then you want to open it create a new, another folder in it and name it paint all right so now you want to save your helmet here as a tga then motor then the tga all right so here are my uh, setups uh, for the diffuse map so i'm gonna save it in 24 bits and then you uh, you can you're not uh, and then I, I, I always uh, tick that because um, it's not doing anything really for the quality of the helmet I, I couldn't notice any real change but uh, this is a lot lighter the file you're going to save would be a lot lighter without any real uh, loss so this is how I do it this is how I do it all right now let's open uh, the painted application uh, now it's gonna be here here all right dear read FRS Honda here it is so here we have our helmet, uh, the normal map and the visor, we didn't do it uh, yet. Let's pack it, mods, rider, helmets, then mod 10, paint. Let's rename it like that, alright. Then wait just a little bit. And now we can try it in game. Okay, so we are pretty close. Here is the FRS on the logo on the side. It's fine. And here you can see that the right side should be a little bit bigger. So this is what we're going to do. All right, let's pick the right side, which is this one. All right, and just press uh, don't forget to hold maj uh, and or shift otherwise it's going to be stretched like that and that's not how we want it so 
just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. This is the UV. Okay, let's try like that. Don't forget to click on reload each time you modify it, otherwise it's going to press the other version, compress the other version. Alright, so we have it already. Here you can just choose another helmet and then go back on the other on this one. Alright, we're getting closer. I'm just going to move that cheat a little bit like that. <coughs> ah, putain. Sorry, I hope I don't have Kobe. Let's see now. Okay. Okay. And now it's good. Uh, and then we have it all right so let's make uh, let's put some logos on the visor now so here is our helmet all right nice this is great let's go back into the, the, the main folder the skin folder print folder all right and now let's make the visor So we are going to throw some logos on it. Alright. Those ones are the most important, of course. Don't ever forget the ARIA logos on the side of the visor, please. I'm not really being serious, but I'm kind of. Don't fucking forget it. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so we are just going to put the logos here onto the visor. The visor. So let's take our logos. Here it is. Oh, so it's already like that. Let's scale it up a bit. Right click, rotation. All right, and now to make sure it's centered. Here we have, we have our 
So it's looking pretty good, but if you notice here, we are going to have that carbon effect uh, onto the logo, as you can see here. It's not really obvious, but it's not looking really, really good. So if you want it to be really perfect not like that normal map that normal map is just looking absolutely awful i really have to redo it but this is not the subject uh, so you don't want uh, those is a square like that you don't want the carbon effect onto the logo so what you want to do for that it's pretty easy uh, Let's close the visor because there is no carbon to the visor. Uh, you just want to select every every logos, every design you put on the on the helmet. Press Ctrl G to duplicate them and then fuse every layers. So now you have everything you did on on, on your design uh, on one layer. Now you want to open your uh, normal map and you just want to duplicate that layer onto your normal map. Now you are going to make sure that everything is well placed and then you just want to go in here in selection. Uh, how do we say it in English? It's going to be, uh, you know, the, the third one <laughs> from the end of the list. All right, <laughs> it's select everything. Like uh, 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 find the selection. I, I don't know how we say it. So it's gonna select everything you made on the helmet, onto the helmet. Now you're going to go in here then here and then you're going to pick with he e with the e letter you're going to press e and then you're going to pick that gray and then you're just going to paint oh, sorry and then you just want to paint into here into your selection and then you won't have any uh, carbon effect uh, onto your logos or designs if you made the design. Alright, let's erase that layer and then Ctrl S and you're good to go. Uh, sorry, if. So I, I, I did Control S because I uh, saved onto the the one I already had. But if you can't do that, you can save it like that, and then you want it to be saved into 32 bits by pixel because uh, for the diffuse map, so for your skin. Uh, you just have uh, those four layers, if I say so. But for the normal map, you will need the alpha channel, because this is where you have uh, those informations. And in order to have this, uh, you have to save it in 32 bytes. All right, so now let's reload it and pack it again, put it into the game. All right, let's go back to the menu. I'm not sure you have to redo that, but just to make sure it reloaded the, the new skin. Let's test it again. Uh, 
and now as you can see your logo is clean there is no there is no carbon effect on it it's all good all right and then you have your helmet okay so i hope that uh, tutorial helped you uh, and I hope that you will enjoy uh, your helmet as much as I do as I said on to the release post I'm really re really really happy with it I was really looking for forward to have it in game and I'm pretty pretty happy to have it already see you